Hey all here OS Reviews, a few months back we did a review on the BenQ Screen Bar Lite, which was a smart desk lamp that attaches onto the top of a laptop or display and allows you to adjust the color temperature and also can change the brightness depending on your environment automatically through the use of an ambient light sensor. It was a very clever solution because it reduced glare on the screen itself of your laptop but also could light up the keyboard and also your working environment. Now, using the same technology in terms of changing the color temperature along with having the ambient light sensor, they've made a version that's more of a traditional desk lamp and sells for $200 MRSP. So it's a little bit pricier than the screen bar, uh, which makes sense because it's a larger object as well and has a very interesting and clean modern arc to the design and still promises to reduce glare on your laptop screen because of that curved design. With that being said, it doesn't add too many new features, such as there aren't USB ports built onto the lamp, so you can't charge your phone with it, and also you still can't control it as a connected smart home device using your phone or tablet uh, because there's no built-in Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, for instance. Here are the contents of the packaging. As we can see, the lamp is partially disassembled, including the base and the light itself. You also get the instruction manual and how to put it in the optimal position for reading purposes. Otherwise, the base is easily the heaviest accessory part, weighs about 10 pounds just to distribute the weight of the arm of the lamp more evenly. We have very simple instructions on here as well that tells you how to assemble it. So as we saw in the user manual, it actually doesn't tell you, you know, step by step how to put it together. It is pretty self-explanatory. On the back, we do have some soft touch rubber feet that prevents it from sliding around when you put it onto a desk or surface. First impressions though is this is a very tall desk lamp. The arm, if you want to fold it completely straight, is almost like a freestanding lamp that you would place on the ground just because of how tall the arms are. I can, for instance, push this arm down. I can, as you can see here, to move it closer to the surface of what I'm looking at. If I have something that's close, I can also pull it back up. And same thing goes with this bottom base. I can adjust the angle as well. So everything is uh, very easy to move, but it's stiff enough that it doesn't accidentally move by itself uh, when just sitting there. You definitely need to apply a little bit of pressure. And now same thing goes on the last hinge, which is just the curved LED part. We have a pivot hinge that we can use to adjust it upwards or downward. Turning over to the controls, uh, this is the aforementioned ring that you can simply tap on to turn the light off, and it slowly comes on as you can see there, so there's a smooth transition. Now I can also long hold on this key for a few seconds to activate the auto mode that's using the ambient light sensor for reading. And you see also a LED strip that will be illuminated on the lamp here that tells you you're in the auto adjustment mode. You see it flicker there for a second as it's trying to read your environment and adjust the brightness and the temperature automatically. I can exit out of this just by tapping the dial once, and from here I have my saved color, temperature, and brightness. I can also change the brightness again by rotating the dial. Uh, clockwise here makes it brighter, and then anti-clockwise makes it dimmer. I can also long hold on the dial here for a few seconds to enter the color temperature adjustment mode, where now I can change it to be a warmer tone versus a colder tone. So you have a pretty easy adjustment of that. When you're satisfied, tap and hold for a few seconds and you'll change back into the brightness level control. When set up correctly, you shouldn't be able to look into these lights just to be more comfortable and having anti-glare, which is the whole point of this design. But if we do want to take a look at it purposefully, you can see it has kind of a diffused or scattered plastic shell. Now if we change the temperature here, you can see the white LED starts to turn on on the sides uh, versus the uh, yellow LEDs as it gets warmer and then turns off the white LEDs. So that's how it adjusts the temperature. In terms of the performance and usability, I found this to be extremely comfortable for even long-term usage and definitely did reduce my eye strain in a sense, just because again the light is pointing downwards and my head is around here, so I don't have to be looking directly into any lights and allows my head also to stay a little cooler. So here's just a very simple demo using a laptop computer, which obviously it would have no problems at all. And equally, display stands, iMacs can be used without any problems simply by making the arm a little bit taller. You can still have very little glare on the display as a result of this ergonomic tilt to the desk clamp, making the screen of your monitor a lot more visible, at least in my testing, compared to a traditional lamp that might be pointing directly at it, casting shadows that tires your eyes and requires you to crank up the brightness of your monitor. And lastly, for the purposes of reading, everything is extremely clear, making the process very comfortable and indeed definitely prolongs your productivity on your desk. It covers up the entire space really without the need for any other lighting source, uh, still gets sufficiently bright for that. 
So that's more or less it for our hands-on review of the BenQ e-reading desk lamp. Overall, it works really well if you want something that can cast a even and consistent light across a pretty large desk surface area. The ability for it to automatically adjust itself based on your ambient environment also works quite well thanks to the ambient light sensor. The design is modern, it's elegant, and overall just really easy to use. Uh, some things to keep in mind though is it's definitely a larger lamp, so make sure you do have a little bit of extra space in terms of the base area that it occupies. And secondly, I would say it definitely doesn't have as many conventional smart lamp features features like being able to connect to your phone uh, or having a you know charging plug built on in there's no USB port that perhaps they could consider adding in the future you can check out more details but for now that's been our video thanks for watching here at OS reviews that's been the BenQ e-reading desk lamp